I do have a hard time sleeping because for some reason every time I close my eyes I see that tree coming at me. And Reliving a nightmare that nearly took her life. Tonight, a Loomis woman talks about how close she came to being smashed by a giant oak tree. It happened during last week's storm. Tonight, five days later, she's banged up, but back at work. It's a story of survival you'll only see on CBS 13. But it just came right at me, and within, I don't know, a second, it was right in front of me. I put my foot on the brake, grabbed the steering wheel, and closed my eyes because I knew. I was going to hit it. It was a direct hit that nearly cost Chris Hebert Summers her life. Boy, does this Loomis woman feel lucky. So I opened my eyes, and the roof of the car was right in front of my face. I thought it was the airbags, but it um, was the roof. The tree wrecked her SUV and spared her life by mere inches. For some reason, it just made a little cocoon. There was a little cocoon of the metal around me. When emergency crews got there, they couldn't get her out right away because live wires had fallen on top of her vehicle. Chris will never forget the man in a car behind her who stopped and got out and told her it's going to be okay until crews were able to get to her and take her to the hospital. The good Samaritan that was with me at the beginning, he followed me down to the hospital to make sure that I got in and I was okay. So. I mean, it, this is a great community. Her gratitude is branching out into another concern. Chris worries another tree could come crashing down on someone else. I noticed a lot of other big giant oak trees that are leaning towards King Road. So someone could, you know, easily they could go out just like this one did. As for how she's doing, the treatments to rebuild her broken wrist and hand, that'll take time. That she's happy to deal with because for a couple seconds there, she thought her time may have been up. I'm happy to be here. I feel lucky. Like maybe there's stuff I still have to do. Now Chris sustained so much damage to her hand, the medical team had to cut off her wedding ring. A sad loss, yeah, but her husband of 30 years will be stepping up to replace it.